So I have this water jug and it has a spout. But every time I use it, you know, what water I don't use that spills off can spill off right where I'm standing. And so most of the time I'll fill up a container for like say hot chocolate or something like that. But if I want to wash my hands, then the water just splats on the ground or in a bowl if I think about it. In the few shakeout trips that I do, which is just to test out equipment, I was thinking, wow, it'd be really nice to have a sink. But in a pickup truck, with limited amount of space, how is that practical? So I got the brilliant idea of using one of these guys. That attached to some hoses and um, with a wing nut. And, and then I can redirect the water elsewhere. I could even wash my hands a little bit. It doesn't have to be big. Well, why don't you watch and see how I do it? So you have your spout here. And then you want to position your L bracket approximately where you think you're going to put your spout. And then I'm going to attach it. And you can see there's two attachment points. But if I put it too high, then I can barely fit my fingers underneath. So I'll probably put it at the lower bracket here, and that'll give me enough clearance to, say, wash my fingertips. Okay, drill the hole at the end of the uh, handle. That will connect here. Okay, so you have the wing nut in back that holds the um, essentially your funnel sink. Bring your uh, spout up, and now we just need to attach the uh, the plastic tube that will send it off to the ground or a uh, small gray tank. Got the Everbuilt 10 foot clear vinyl. It has a 5 8 inch interior diameter, and the 5 8 is you want to get the exact dimensions of the um, of the spout uh, for the inner dimension, and it'll fit snug. Okay, there it is. Connect to the hose. And the water drained just fine. Well, if you enjoyed this episode of the miniature sink funnel experiment, um, please like, comment, and subscribe below, and I'll do my best to respond back. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.